Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim So let us take a simple example for internal rate of return. A project costs 16000 and it is expected to generate a cash inflow of 4000 each 5 years. Calculate the internal rate of return. Cost of the project or initial investment is 16000 but this project generates 4000 per year. It means the inflow is equal. For the next how many years? For the next 5 years. Calculate the internal rate of return. It is very simple. So only the thing we have to do, we have to follow these 4 steps. Step number 1, we have to find that factor. How to find that factor? Initial investment divided by cash inflow. Let us find out this one. Step number one, we have to find out what factor. So this is called steps. Let us follow the steps. Steps. Step one, right? In step one, we have to find out what factor. We have to find out factor. And how to find that factor? If you remember the formula, initial investment. Investment divided by we can mention like this annual cash inflows or otherwise so if the inflow of the project is different then you can mention average annual cash inflows average annual cash inflows so you can find out the NPV so you can find out the factor in this way how much is the cost of the project in this case the cost of the project or initial investment is 16,000 right so mention 16,000 16,000 is the cost divided by divided by average annual cash inflow if inflow are different and another case another case which is in this example if inflows are equal so just you can take only one inflow and that is amount of 4,000 right then press the equal sign you will get amount of 4 right then 4 is the value of the factor 4 is the value of the what value of the factor find out this one Find out this one, this 4. Find out in where? Find out this one in present. Find out this one in where? Find out this one in present value. Sorry, something wrong here. Let me mention here, right? Find out this one in present value of annuity. Annuity table. Find out on which table? In present value of annuity table. Against. Against which year? Against year 5. Against which year? Against 5th year. Why? Because the project is for how many years? The project is for 5 years. And the value of the factor is equal to how much? Equal to 4. So we have to find out this value in which table? Present value of annuity table. You have studied present value of annuity and of course and time value of money you know what you mean by this one right why i am using from the table usually the project managers do not use the table so they directly take one higher rate and one lower rate basically if you take one higher rate one lower rate sometime and not sometime even we can say in most of the case the value of the internal rate of return will be wrong so in order to find out the exact answer which even should be equal to the calculation of the Excel. So you have to apply this way. You have to find out this value and present value of NVT table. Already I have opened the present value of NVT table, so let me find out. But this value should be found out against which year? Against fifth year, right? So now let us do this one. This column basically show the number of year, but this row show the, the percentage, right? So Project was for how many years? For five years. Year one, year two, year three, year four, and year five. This is year five. In this way, go to the right side until to find out four. Right? Go to the right side. Go, go, go. Oh, and we can find out. You cannot find out the exact four. Exact four cannot be found out here. You can find out less than. You can find out more than four. As well as you can find out less than four. Right? So that is why we have to take two rates. So if this is, for example, greater than, greater than 4, go above to find out which rate of interest is there above this one. If you go above this one, there's an interest rate, and that is, of course, 7%, right? 
if you go above this rate above this one 3.99 if you go above that one there is another rate of interest which is called which is eight percentage so now we found two rate of interest above this one seven and above this one there is eight percentage right so the purpose of factor and the purpose of the annuity table is only to find out these two rates one rate for example we got seven and one rate we got how many percentage we got eight percentage right now for the seven percentage seven percentage this is called lower discount rate this is called what lower discount lower discount rate and of course the rate of eight percentage eight percentage right eight percentage is called higher discount rate so now we got two rates right so two rates are found out right so this is called L. This is called what? This is called L. L means lower discount rate. So this is lo lower discount rate. Okay. This is lower discount rate. And of course, the other one is H, or we can say the higher discount rate. Now we got two discount rate. Lower discount rate and higher discount rate. Here, after the step number one, as you remember, we said we have to find the positive NPV as well as we have to find out the negative NPV. So step two, apply the step two. Step two, here we have to find out the positive, positive, positive NPV, positive NPV. How we can find out the positive NPV, how to do it? Of course, definitely, first of all, we have to find that the present value of inflow, then we have to minus the present value of outflow, you will get the positive or negative in PV, right? First, in order to find out the positive, we have to apply the lower rate. Lower rate give the positive and higher rate give the, the negative. Apply the 7 percentage. Or simply, we can say NPV for 7 percentage. NPV for how many percentage? NPV for 7 percentage. That might be positive, that might be negative. Instead of positive and negative, simply you can mention NPV for NPV for 7 percentage. So apply NPV for 7 percentage. Here you can mention NPV for how many percentage? NPV for, for 7 percentage, right? So let me find out. So first of all, of course, in order to find out NPV, we know the formula. NPV is equal to present value of inflow minus present value of outflow. First, we have to find out the present value of inflow, right? Inflow. PV of, of inflows. PV of inflows. PV of inflows are equal to this much. We have 4, 4,000 for the next five years. We have how much? 4,000 for the next five years. How to find out? So simply 4,000 divided by how much is the cost? How much is the rate? The rate in this example we have taken, we assume the rate as 7 percentage. It is not the exact one. We assume that, so it might be the rate of interest, right? Why? Because in, in internal rate of return, cost of capital or rate of interest is not given, so we have to find out. So in order to find out, we have to assume it, right? But, but the factor and the present value of inflow will help us to, to assume, but in approximate or we can say in the exact way in order to find out the exact uh, uh, rate of interest. So divided by, divided by how much? Divided by 1.07. Why? Because this is the cost. For the second year, again, you have to do the same thing. 4,000 divided by 1.07, but this is in the power of 2, right? For the next year, again, it is 4,000 divided by one point. 0, 7 into power of 3, right? And plus for the next year, it is 4000 divided by 1.07 into power of 4, right? And for the last year, it is equal to how much? 4000 divided by 1.07 into power of 5, right? Which is equal. If you equal, you get equal to amount of this one so this is called present value of inflow this is called what present value of inflow right 
if you find out the NPV in this case, if you find out the NPV, NPV, let us find out whether the NPV is positive or negative. Present value of inflow. Present value of inflow is equal to how much? 16,400 around, right? 16,400 minus how much is the cost of the project? Cost of the project is 16,000, right? If you minus this one, definitely you get some balance. Balance is equal to how much? Positive. And this is 400 and this is positive. The next we have to find out NPV for NPV for 8 percentage. And we expect that this 8 percentage should make the NPV as negative, right? So here we have to find out the and the present value, the present value of inflow. Again, we have to find out the present value of inflows. How to find out the present value of inflows? Of course, there's a formula. Huh? Again, the same thing. Again, the same thing, but just rate is equal to 8%. Percentage, right? So here we can apply the same thing, but rate is 8%. Percentage, so we have to do it. And again, 4,000 divided by 1, fine. 0, 8. Previously it was 7, now it is equal to 8. Next one, of course, 4000 divided by 0 1.08 into power of 2. And for the next year, again, it is 4000 divided by 1.08 into power of 3. And for the next year, it is 4000 divided by 1.08 into power of 4 and plus for the next year 4000 divided by 1.08 into into power of how much into power of 5 right press the equal sign you will get some inflows so you get inflow of equal to how much less than 16000 so we expect this NPV should be positive NPV NPV is equal to Present value of inflow. How much is the inflow? It is 15,970. Uh, then minus. How much is the outflow? Outflow is equal to 16,000. Right? So if you press the equal sign, you get the negative. So now it is fine. We got two amount and one NPV is positive and one NPV is what? Negative. Right? So now everything is fine. So step two and step three is applied. NPV is found out. One NPV positive and one NPV negative. Next, we have to apply the interpolation formula. So this is the interpolation formula. So we have to apply it, right? So now let me apply the interpolation formula. So how to apply this one? Let us apply in this one. IRR, IRR is equal to, IRR is equal to, IRR is equal to, the formula is the, L plus, right? L. L is how many percentage in this example? L is basically 7 percentage. How many percentage? 7 percentage. Plus. Plus, take a bracket. So if you remember the formula, this was the formula. L plus P1 minus Q, right? P1 minus Q. What was P1? P1 was the present value at lower rate. Present value at lower rate. What, we are, what is the present value at lower rate? This is basically the present value at lower rate. And this is the present value at higher rate, right? Present value of inflow, I mean. Present value of inflow at higher rate, lower rate, and present value of inflow at, at higher rate. So you can mention the present value of inflow at higher rate. It was 16,400.8, we can say, right? Minus. How much was the outflow? Outflow of the project is equal to 16,000. So bracket close, divided by, again, take bracket. So in the, in the denominator, it is P1 minus P2. So P1 is equal to how much? P1 is 16,000. Again, 400.8 minus present value of outflow. It is 15,900. 970.8 right bracket close and both of them should be multiplied to what multiply to at the last there is a point in the formula h minus l right h minus l h is equal to how many percentage equal to eight percentage minus seven percentage right so 
होते हैं द ब्रैकेट को नाउ अप्लाई द आई आर आर फाइंड आउट द आई आर आर आई आर आर एस इक्वल टू अगेन सेवन परसेंटेज एट्स ऑल सेवन परसेंटेज एट्स ऑल प्लस प्लस हाउ मच नाउ यू कैन फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू from 16400 something like that minus this amount so let us do one thing and instead of this fine take only 16400 and instead of this one also take 16000 and instead of this one also take 15700 so here is from 16400 minus 16000 you get 400 you get how much 400 400 divided by from 16400 if you minus this one you get 430 Four hundred, how much? Four hundred thirty, okay? right? Then both of them multiply to multiply to eight percentage minus seven percentage. You get only one percentage. You get how many percentage? One percentage, okay? Right? So one more step. I R R is equal to seven percentage. How many percentage? Again, seven percentage plus plus how much? Plus this one. Fourteen hundred divided by four hundred thirty. Let us divide it here. Four hundred divided by four hundred thirty. Right. If you divide and multiply to one, right. So basically, although it is one percentage, but as per the formula, you have to multiply to one only, right. So this is the nature of the formula. You can apply, you get the value. You get how much? You get zero point nine. Zero point nine three zero two, and this is of course percentage. Now you can add this two percentage. If you add this two percentage, you get equal to how many percentage? You get seven point nine percentage. So seven nine point percentage is the internal rate of return or profitability of the project. And this rate was between eight percentage and seven percentage and eight percentage. So this is the internal. Uh, this is the internal rate of return. Initially, we found the IRR, uh, the factor, and the factor is initial investment divided by average, average annual cash inflow, right? And we found it for. Then search this value and present value of inflow table, which we have found it against fifth year, but you cannot find out the exact value, so you can find greater or lesser. Go above, then find out which rate is there. One rate is seven. One rate is eight percentage. Once find out the NPV for seven percentage and second find out NPV for eight percentage. One NPV should be positive and one NPV should be negative, right? If the both of them are positive or both of them are negative, then you have to change the rate. You can see in the next example. Then apply the interpolation formula. You can find out the IRR and that is seven point nine 